¿no? Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Okay. I'm gonna do face cam too, so. Ba -bam. Oh my gosh. It's so wide out in that one corner. <laughs> um, this, this. Oh, okay. Hello. Gosh, I haven't streamed in a while. And my uploading videos have been really inconsistent. I'm sorry about that. I want to at least try to get one video out by the end of the week. It's probably going to be Spiral Abyss. But we'll see. I was gonna do the Hita's story quest too, since I finished that, and then all the events. Ooh, there's so many. Yep. So, when I haven't been streaming, I've been just playing. I've been farming for artifacts and whatnot, and I think I only have one more character that needs a fully leveled artifact set. And I think it's Dory. And I started working on it. However, if I end up getting Cave and Baju, then I have two more people to level up. <laughs> so, it's never ending. Add as um, so today we're gonna do some dailies, and then... Um, I'm gonna get as far as I can into the 
uh, Academia event. So you know. There we go. This is what? Oh my god. So many things. There's also the Baiju story quest. Oh my gosh. Do these test runs too. Mail. Oh, yeah, it's Candace's birthday. Okay. How much resin? That much. And spiral. Oh my god, spiral this. Oh no. Okay. Let's do some wishes. I have some things. I might spend a little bit. But yeah, I don't know. Let's do like a temple. Alright, it's purple. Hopefully it's Kate. <laughs> we got him. I want to get him at least C2 though. Bro, look at that. Hmm. Uh, wh uh, where's my key? Uh, oh, not again. <laughs> nice, easy. I can redo it again now. Because this could be by. Oh, or another cab, eh? I figured. Also, the shop reset. And it's Lisa's con, and I want it, so I won't be spending these. Even though I have the urge to. So singles for now. Use up everything we have. <laughs> Another one? Jeez. Eye of Perception. One. And that is it. Let's see. I think I already bought everything. Next, want this. Yeah. I already did my standard banner wishes, so I'm pretty sure. Sweet, let's go do commissions. I've never had a list like this. It's always empty. And <laughs> now it looks like this. Okay. Gotta go there. Yes. I'm gonna go for Good roll. All right, maybe I'll take one more day off and knock out the rest of the work once I'm feeling up to it. <laughs> oh yeah, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just I'm having a little snack. <laughs> I was just really thirsty and wanted a drink, but I felt so silly just getting a Baja Blast, you know? So I'm like, I'll just get the freaking fries since they're back again. I got a new letter from an informant. It looks like the situation has okay. changed again. Uh, God, I forgot how to play on here. I've been playing on mobile, so <clears throat> might be a little bad. I don't even know if this commission gives me an achievement or not, I should look, so... I don't know, a lot of the achievements for their commissions in Sumeru are through trial and error and you just go through it. Like, you don't have to do anything special. Yes. 
set the beacons up. Well, before I start, I should add Cave here so he can get some friendship XP. <laughs> Who are we gonna replace? Yalom? <laughs> I'll take care of this. <laughs> you sure will. <laughs> oh, you already know. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I need to have artifacts for him. Like, uh, leveled up. But I do have some that he could use. Like, that's pretty good. Probably like crit rate, energy recharge. I'll just give him this four limb. Give him that one. Some as EM. That's how. Um, I'm thinking of Baiju. Baiju needs so much ER. I have so many of these. Um, I don't know. Pick your poison, I guess. Let's just give him this one. What does he need? Attack? I do have attack. Nah. And what crit rate? These are some sad hats. He's <laughs> probably... I'll probably give him that one. <laughs> it's the best one I'm gonna let Dendro Goblin. I will look up how to build them more properly, but it's fine. And that's... Yeah. That one seems pretty good. That one's like the same. Except this has the Morium. Probably gonna this one for now. Look, it kinda matches. <laughs> there you go. Hmm. Uh, wh uh, where's my key? I think I only bought uh, that. Uh, I don't even know what boss. Uh, does he need the new one? The freaking. Uh, the Inquisitor, or whatever. I did fight him. Like, oh, he needs these. Pro I have. Oh, I barely explored the desert. Those are my only morning flowers, or those three. He's gonna be like that for now. Bro, what's going on? What hmm. the heck? That's a sick idol. Okay. Oh. We're setting up beacons. Can I, can I reach that? Can you reach, please? Don't. Okay. <clears throat> Can I just place these without them noticing? That's well, not. Maybe I shouldn't have ran. <laughs> You <laughs> just leave. Okay. Me? Why can't I use? I mean, I can't use my freaking speed boost. At least 
friends are stuck together. <laughs> I can't like grab one. Okay, I'm flying away from him. <clears throat> yes, I did it. Give me three moves. Three moves. Okay. I put him in my teapot too. Um. Why is there like three? I don't know which way. This one? I think this one's like in the water. I'll go here. What do you mean, what's my level? <laughs> I'm the maxed ranking or rank in this game. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're funny. one of these. I don't like these ones, you know. Some of these commissions are so long. Weasel thief. Is he underground? I swear to God, he's not underground. Are oh, you? <sighs> Why they do this? mistake <laughs> okay no, I didn't mean to hit that oh please be this one I wasn't I lost no Thank you. 
Oh, I'm done with that. Oh my garbage. Add Astra. Thank you for comp. That's the story quest. That's the world quest I started. And this is what I'm supposed to be doing today. Um, stop by the teapot. Okay, I'm gonna put them um, right here. Um, companion. So it's probably a way in. Drop me off there. <clears throat> Never understand. This realm is crazy outside. What's I gonna do? Here, let me look at this. This helps me figure out what I need to do. Cause I'm probably gonna spend resin. Well, I do need a level cabin. It's level 40. And I need more of these. So I need to go explore. I think I'll do the quest off stream. So I think that's why I haven't like done anything yet. Cause I'm like, oh, I need to stream it. Cause I need to make a video. I'm like, no, you can just play the game without making a video. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Just try to 100% the area so yeah what we can i think i want an artifact farm so um let's go farm some emblem because we're responsible I do. Oh my god. I already have five. Why do I do that? <laughs> I never used to do that. Well, we're gonna spend all these first and then farm crystal flies and then go farm more artifacts. Okay. Since I have Kevin, I can just start leveling his stuff up. Since I don't think I'm gonna use Dory anytime soon. Yeah. 
And those were bad. <laughs> oh, this cabbie would be faster. It's taller. We got more bad pieces to throw away. I guess I could bite the Dendro cube. <laughs> oh, I just don't want to. <laughs> I just want artifacts. Commit it to memory. The Temple of Wisdom. Hold the line. Oh, yeah. oh, let me go, let me go. How did I reach you? Do I want to keep that? <laughs> I'm gonna... It could be good... Oh, I'm throwing it away. I don't... I want better pieces, please. Are so good. Yeah! <laughs> 
two masks. And they're both bad. Imagine that. Alright, you get upgrade. Upgrade. All these stats are good. Yeah. Okay, we, we don't want too much. Yeah. <laughs> Give me five times. That is okay. That is so much EM, bro. <laughs> Why? God, what does he even need? I'm gonna look it up. Thanks, heavy already made a god. I watched it and I like kind of zoned out. Why is there a honk I had? Please go away. Oh my god, a Genshin head. I just want to know the substats and artifacts. Because honestly, it's gonna be for a deep one. That's how it's gonna be. So he needs like 160 ER if you have. Yeah, but you have fab users, yeah. 160 to 200? Come on. We might need ER? Question mark? But for when I understood that if you're gonna play Bloom, you're you like there's no such thing as a like non uh, Nilu Bloom. Like if it that kind of Bloom team is bad. No offense, but if you're gonna play Bloom, you're probably playing Nahida or not Nahida uh, Nilu. That's why his design's a little weird, and plus, I don't think he works with Nilu sometimes or something like that. Because he destroys the blooms before they can get triggered or something. I don't know. That's why I think it's best to play him as a hyper bloom driver. Alright, here she put like different uh thema bobs so right now i have this flower that hopefully is good so far <laughs> i don't know this gotta be good hopefully that's good hopefully that just goes into crit damage and then this hits crit damage and goes on to it and maybe a little er I know he has energy issues. EM isn't bad though. Yeah. You just have to see how everything rolls. Yeah, Dendro, Cri you know. Sans could either be ER attack or EM, depending on what he needs. Should she go over uh weapons? I know she said male flower. Because I was planning on using, like, I want to use this because it's nice. But. Um. 
I think this weapon might be actually better. Because of the passive and everything. Or he's fab. Okay, Lolas. Oh. Plus, it addresses the ER he needs. I don't. I. I don't know what's the max, but still. Oh, you can keep this for now. Okay. I think this is fine. I just hope I roll good. <laughs> All right. I'm guessing we're fighting Dendro Cube. I can also get Favonius too. That's not bad. Can I even fight the Dendro Cube with this team? Can can I bloom it? I think it's immune to Dendro. If I need Dendro to beat it. Switch teams. To be safe. We go burr. And then we friendship team collect afterwards. I want do this. It before switching. <laughs> Waste of friendship. Okay. I'll chill out in the corner. <sighs> the weather is lovely and warm. Things are about to start getting lively again. Oh my god. I'm so thirsty. I think it's because the season's changing. Or the weather, you know. I want to get this too. I also gotta do the Layla hangout. Oh my god. Oh, there's so much to do. Not that. I want the book. Look at it. Tell me what to do. Okay. Are you alive? In two two minutes? What? What am I gonna do for two minutes? What the fuck is this? It's been a random mark I made. <clears throat> um. Can I even wish? <laughs> Can I spend primos? Yes, I can. It's, it's one sanity. Nice. If you're not sure what to do next, how about I take you on a walk? 
thanks, Nahida. Um, I could start the event, I guess. I don't know. I just want to spend resin first. Just wait. I could run around over here for like a minute. Where are the flowers? I've collected some. They're like underground, aren't they? Let's go here. I need. I think I need to ignore so I can see him. This isn't exactly underground. Come over here. Right here. Is that more underground then? Is that where the flowers are? What's that? <laughs> Another one. Oh, that's a different symbol. Either. See, I, I don't even have the little body everyone has yet. So I need to start the quest. Where are the flowers? <laughs> Bro, I ran past you and then you get all... I don't understand. Um... I'm assuming I need <laughs> the body for that. Okay. Oh, is this like the ore? I don't know. I'm sorry. I just I don't understand you. I think the dendro keeps ready, so I'm gonna fight it. <laughs> Trying to play one handed. This time, let the friendship team collect the fringe. It's got eager because it's. Oh, I, I, want, I need it. I need to collect it. Grow, grow, grow! Make yourselves at home! Mind the damage. <laughs> One with wind and cloud. Cascade.
fight like one more time but let's go do the event let's go check it out um so, uh, I'm assuming it's uh, excuse me sunny days are so warm and cozy They make me sleepy. Same. I am sleepy. A moment, if you would. Are you two the famous traveler and Paimon by any chance? We sure are! And who are you? My name is Wikos, a member of the Academia Extravaganza Planning Committee. Have you two heard of this festival? Is that so? Looks like our advertising okay. is working. Since you're both interested, would you mind if I gave you a brief explanation of the event? That would be helpful. <clears throat> so, the Academia Extravaganza is a grand event run by the Academia with a long and storied history. To be precise, it can be divided into the Wisdom Gala and the Inter Darshan Championship. The gala is held annually. During this time, all six Darshans will set up booths throughout the city and host guests to showcase the most fascinating aspects of their school and thus increase their influence. On the other hand, the championship is held once every four years. Each Darshan will send a representative to vie for the position of Grand Champion. This year, the gala is being held alongside the championship, so the mood in the city is, as they say, at an unprecedented fever pitch. For the detailed explanation. <laughs> You're most welcome. Answering questions regarding the academia extravaganza is my job. And uh, I actually do have something I would like to ask the two of you. Huh? Need our help with something? Well, let me begin by saying that this year's academia extravaganza is of utmost importance to us. Lesser Lord Kusanali and the Sages came up with a plan for the Academia to recruit talented people from the desert starting next year. As such, we've invited a great number of desert dwellers to take part in this festival, so they can hopefully experience the Academia's atmosphere ahead of time. I've heard that the two of you are famous across both the rainforest and desert. With your participation, especially in the Inter Darshan Championship, more people will definitely come to appreciate the festival. Exactly! Or do you mean you want us to join a Darshan? Ugh, but then we would have to deal with exams and essays and stuff like that. No need to worry. The championship participants have already been selected. I mean to invite the two of you as guest commentators. Your job will be to observe and record every part of the competition. There's no pressure. Just follow each match and enjoy the festival. Aside from that, we'll also prepare some compensation for your efforts. We won't have you working for free. That kind of sounds like a sweet deal. What do you think? You can head over to the festival venue later. An organizer there will introduce each participant. Some of them even might be people you recognize. I'll leave it at that for now. So, how about it? Would you like to take this commission? Wow! Having fun while getting paid? This sounds awesome! The main event venue is at the outskirts of the Citadel of Regzar, and the organizer you're looking for is Karina. Tell her the situation and she'll get you set up. The championship is going to begin soon. 
I wish you a good experience serving as commentators. If you have any doubts, come find me anytime. Alrighty, off we go! We're finally not, like, fighting or anything, we're just commentating, I guess. Just watching other people do what we usually do. Really a little stage? Welcome, one and all, to the Academia Extravaganza! Now then, allow me to reveal the prizes for this iteration of the Interdarshan Championship. Fabulous monetary rewards, research funds, a limited edition Genius Invocation TCG card, and the right to wear the Diadem of Knowledge! I believe that I need not elaborate as to how this is a symbol of great honor. She should be Karina, right? Looks like she's in the middle of something. Let's wait till she's less busy, then go introduce ourselves. The Diadem of Knowledge. What a perfect work of art. <sighs> Every time I see it, I feel like I'm losing myself in its beauty. The one who proves fit to wear it must be a rare genius indeed. <laughs> I believe that most of you have already seen the Diadem of Knowledge or have heard tales about it. Twenty years ago, a researcher named Sachin bought it for a large sum of Mora before donating it to the Academia. The generous championship prizes are also sourced from his sponsorship. Before we begin, allow me to express our gratitude to this researcher, who cannot be with us right now. Um, what was that? Things can only get worse. The fuck? Things can only go from bad to worse. Human nature begets conflict, and conflict begets ruin. From the beginning, the seeds of wickedness have been... Hey! Stop spacing out! Paimon called out to you, but you didn't respond. You okay? Did you stay up late without telling Paimon? All right. I'm sure we're all more than ready for the championship to begin. Now then, let's invite our six that, Darshan representatives <laughs> to the stage. Our contestants are... <gasps> representing Amorta, Tainari! <laughs> what is this, dude? <laughs> representing Spontamod, Sino! <laughs> representing oh, Ratawahist, Layla! Representing Harabatot, Farzan. Oh my god. <laughs> Representing Kasharawar, Kabe. <laughs> and for Bahumana. Huh? Is Bahumana's representative not here yet? These introductions are pointless. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> Why is he Bahumana's representative? Finally, our final contestant is Bahumana's representative, Hat Guy! <laughs> Hat Guy? What the f <laughs> Oh, so that's Hat Guy. I think I've oh seen him before. Oh my god, bro. Uh, you <laughs> know who he is? Him Hat Guy. I've heard that he's a researcher and from a different country who nominally belongs to Vahumana, Word is that he's written a lot of political you can analyses. Name him whatever you want, His manner so. of speech hasn't made him popular amongst most other Vahumana researchers, but his comings and goings are quite irregular, they, so he doesn't interact with others names. much. Aside from his more controversial aspects, his perspectives are considered quite incisive. Vahumana has seen a dearth of new talent lately, and some of its existing ones are not currently at the academia. So I suspect he might have been their only option. It's just kind of weird. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would participate in competitions like this one. I'm quite Now that we too. have our six contestants, the championship will soon begin. 
Who will triumph this time around? Hold on to your hats, because we're all on this ride together. <laughs> Especially hack. Oh my god. Huh. We really do know a lot of the contestants. <laughs> oh, right. We're guest commentators, aren't we? So figuring out everyone's reasons for participating is in our job description. Let's go ask them when we go say hi. Especially him. Paimon still thinks it's weird that he's here. We meet again, you two. Hey, Tainori. We came here to check out this extravaganza event. And then they invited us to be guest commentators. Is that so? I heard that there would be guest commentators recording the proceedings with cameras, but <laughs> I didn't expect they'd be you two. It's a pleasant surprise that you're visiting Sumeru again while I'm still on leave. When everything comes together perfectly like this, I call it the beer yoni factor. Because it's always rice to meet stew again. <laughs> what the f... Uh. <laughs> uh. So, Tainari, you're representing Amurta, and Sino is representing Spontamod. But haven't you both already graduated? Can alumni also take part in the competition? I had wondered the same thing. When I was told the news, I was actually more shocked than you are now. I later found out that anyone who has been a part of a particular darshan has the right to participate. Graduation status has no effect. So that's a rule, huh? There are some restrictions, though. For example, sages cannot participate. Any given person can only participate in one instance of the championship, and so on. That's right. Also, there are two methods by which the darshan representatives are chosen. One is self-nomination, and the other is to be recommended by over half of one's darshan. You must have been a case of the latter, Tainari. I heard that quite a few of your juniors petitioned for your candidacy. Sometimes I wish I could clap a few of them over the head and tell them to spend that time on studying instead. <laughs> well, you can, but after some consideration, I realize this could be a good opportunity for me. Next month, we're having a public lecture on ecology at Gandharvaville. If I participate in this event, I might be able to utilize its popularity to promote the lecture. Okay. I'm not that concerned about becoming the champion. Unlike someone here. <laughs> he wants the TCG card, Yes. Huh? I'm using the last of my leave for this. <laughs> when I heard that a limited edition Genius Invocation TCG card was one of the prizes, I signed myself up. This year's card is a rare one indeed. It would be a shame if I missed out on it. Wait, is it some kind of super powerful card? No, it's a very common one. But it has a holographic layer. Uh, so what's He the wants point? the pretty card. There's it's very wrong cool. It. See? Uh, Paimon meant apart from being very cool. That is reason enough. <laughs> I shall do my all to emerge victorious and add it to my deck. Uh, as someone who doesn't play cards much, I can't quite relate. But it isn't surprising that everyone has their own reasons for taking part in the tournament. Fair enough. All right, let's go find someone else to question. All right, who are we talking to? Let's talk to them. Then we'll talk to Haggai after. <laughs> Kave, Farzan, Layla! Huh? Oh, it's you. Why are you here? <laughs> We're here as specially invited guest commentators. Our job is to record what happens during the competition. Is that so? In that case, I'll have to trouble you to catch the moment of my triumph on camera. Remember to shoot from behind at a lower angle. You know, to capture a senior's class. <laughs> what? Don't get ahead of yourself now. Victory will obviously be mine. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're far too young to even consider challenging me. Kasharwar or Ratawahist. You're all children as far as I'm concerned. 
Uh, actually, I was going to ask, uh, how do you know me, Madame Farazan? Huh? You don't remember? I sometimes see you in the library at night. You even waved at me! Uh, uh what? I don't remember doing that at all. <laughs> huh. How strange. However, this is not the time for curiosity. I am Farozan, a household name in Haravatat. You are Layla from Ortawahist, I presume? Uh, yes. Good. Then we are officially introduced. See? Simple as that. <laughs> I like respectful ones, by the way. Would you like to join my research group? Oh my god. <laughs> Madam Faruzan, I'm quite sure this counts as poaching. Let's dial things down. <sighs> I know, but it's been tough getting people these days. And research funding has been hard to secure. But once I win this tournament, it'll be a different story. <laughs> so you're just here to increase the amount of funding you're getting? Well, not just that. What, are you curious about my reasons for participating in this event? Well, I suppose that's to be expected. You are our guest commentators, after all. There's been an influx of newly enrolled students, and they will be paying close attention to this competition. If I do win, I'm certain that there will be no lack of students knocking upon my door. Moreover, research resources will be made available to the victor, so that will nix my funding issues. Therefore, my two juniors, I do apologize. But I fully intend to emerge triumphant. Uh, I'll do my best as well. At least I don't plan to lose too badly. So, why are you here, Layla? I don't know why, but a lot of people recommended me. <laughs> I didn't sign up myself. I just woke up to find my name on the announcement board. That sounds like what happened to Tainari. Him, too? Oh, I'm... I'm really nervous. I've been so worried about disappointing everyone that I've been... losing sleep. <laughs> Stress not, young one. We must all experience failure to grow and mature. But, Madame Farzan, I don't want to fail. Oh, seriously? Everyone has such nice reasons for joining. Oh. Must I say? Yes, you do! We gotta record it! <laughs> um, well, you know, right? I want to buy some property. Oh, that's right! You wanna move out of all Hathams! Uh, 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 what? I'll hate them? What about <laughs> him? This has nothing to do with him. Oh, right, sorry, Paimon has no idea what she was talking about. So, you want to use the grand prize to buy a place, right? Correct. Also, my father took part in the Interdarshan Championship when I was young, but he didn't win. Mm. Once I do, the right to wear that diadem will be mine. In a way, I'll be helping my father well, fulfill a dream that's of his. a nice thing. That's not a bad reason at all. Yeah. You have ambition, youngster. Oh, my reason's lame. Well, this is probably the, with me one of the best right. ones. I believe your father would be most proud if the diadem of knowledge were bestowed upon you. Not that he'll have the chance to celebrate. My father passed away many years ago. They say he ran into quicksand while traveling in the desert. Oh, for you to have experienced such a thing. That must have been tough for you. It's all in the past now, and life goes on, doesn't it? Let's change topics. I don't want to bring the mood down. All right. Earlier, you said that you want to use the prize Mora to purchase a home. Where do you live now? Do you live alone? Uh, uh, well... <laughs> hmm. I also heard you mention I'll hate them just a moment ago. Isn't he also from Haravatat? Are you two hiding something from me? <laughs> uh, no, of course not! Why would you think that? <laughs> Paimon's definitely not involved either! We're gonna go interview other contestants now. Bye! <laughs> yeah, they're, they're definitely... <laughs> oh, bro... Um... So... What? 
Just call me Hat Guy. That's the name I use in Vahumana. That sounds like a nickname, not a real name. So I can't go by a simple, ordinary name? <laughs> Fine, suit yourself. All right then, Hat Guy. Why are you taking part in the Inter-Darshan Championship? We're specially invited guest commentators, so play nice and answer our questions. You could be Matra for all I care. So what if I don't answer you? What then? Uh, you! <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you this much. I have an agreement with someone not to reveal my motives. You're not plotting something in secret, are you? Bro, he's not evil anymore. Well, it's hard to say. Why don't you take a guess? Ugh, I once had it with you. Fine, be that way. Then we won't ask you why you're participating. Instead, uh, why did you join Vahumana? You two sure like to poke your noses where they don't belong. If I don't say anything, are you going to annoy me to death? Yes. <sighs> I heard that the Vahumana researcher named Akaba was researching the Tatarasuna incident. Oh. So I wrote a few essays to refute his points. He's writing essays? Later, when I was bored, I wrote some commentary Bro, on student. societal issues in Inazuma. I didn't expect Vahumana to consider me as one of them. <laughs> Someone crazy. even invited me to a lecture or whatever. From start to finish, it was just the wishful thinking of idiots. Nikita got a misunderstanding. Enrolled. There's your answer. <laughs> Simple. But when Lesser Lord Kusanali heard about this, she went out of her way to get me registered in Vahumana. <laughs> she used the name Hat Guy. Hack. Enough chit chat. She would. You're better off wasting your time with the other contestants. Someone's about to get very unlucky. Wanna guess who? How is anyone supposed to relax with you around? <sighs> Silent nod. <laughs> stay alert and keep a close eye on him. Looks like Karina's got a moment now. Let's go chat with her. Uh, he's doing some secret mission thing. But it's probably not bad. Oh, you must be the guest commentators <laughs> Vikas invited. I've heard about you. I saw you two having quite the lively conversation, so I thought it would be best to wait. Are you two free right now? We were actually looking for you, too! Excellent! Then please allow me to explain your job responsibilities in detail. First, please take these two things. The first item is a custom camera from the Academia. Please use it to record the competition as it unfolds. The second is an event-specific locator that will flag all participants' locations. It will also sound when one of them completes an objective. Mm -hmm. Wow! What a convenient little thing! Aside from you two, there are two other commentators. However, oh. they will remain by the commentators area and will <laughs> not be following the contestants in real time. <laughs> Speaking of which, you she probably would know be them. a commentator. I'll them and Nilu. <laughs> oh, it's them! We have to go over and say hi later. Well, don't let me keep you unless you have any questions for me. Hmm? Why do you ask? Oh. Really? I didn't see any such person. Could I ask when you saw him? Strange. I was on stage the entire time, and I didn't see anyone come up. Paimon didn't see anyone either. <laughs> Perhaps you're mistaken. However, if you have any leads on that matter, you can talk to me at any time. Hey, Traveler. Hey. Paimon. Long time no see. No, yeah, everyone's here. Dia, Candice, you two are here as well. Ah, so they're two friends of yours. In that case, I'll take my leave. May you all have a wonderful time during the extravaganza. The Academia sent us both invitations, so Dia suggested that we come together. The villagers were also encouraging me to travel outside the village. I couldn't find it in myself to turn them down. We're here now, so no point dwelling on that. Even though this extravaganza isn't a holiday or anything, it's still a big deal here in Sumeru. Merchants from all over will set up shop. 
There'll be tons of stuff to eat, use, and wear, more than you can count. I'm already set on helping you buy two new outfits. I mean, who wears the same thing at work and home anyway? I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> Just being able to relax and wander the streets freely has already made my day. So, Traveler, Paimon, you two want to come with? Uh, we'd love to, but we've got work to do right now. Aw, that's a shame. Bro, Let's I want to hang out together them. when you're free, then. Sure! In that case, Candace and I will head out first. Good clothing and fabrics are very much in demand. If you snooze, you lose. Oh, right. We should also get some accessories. No need to rush. <laughs> I think we'll have a better time if we take things slow. Yeah. See you two later. <laughs> what you, Feel free what to come find us whenever you have the time. Oh my gosh. Paimon didn't think that Candace and Gia would come. Hanging out with them sounds like a great time. Still, looks like the competition's starting soon. Let's go over to where all Haytham is and see what's going on. <clears throat> I will now announce the rules for the first round of the competition. Please listen carefully. During the opening ceremony, Academia staff released several cages of butterflies, and many of them are now fluttering within Sumeru City. Amongst these butterflies, three of them will be special swift flies. They have a different appearance and also fly a little faster. Your objective this round is to find a swift fly and bring it to me. Three points will be awarded to the first participant to return, two to the second, and one point to the third. That is all for the first round. Should you require clarification on anything, please ask any of the other staff. Oh, Haytham's all business all the time, huh? Hmm. That said, how did he get picked to be a commentator? Paimon's kinda curious. Finding three specific butterflies in a place as large as Sumeru City sounds rather improbable. Hmm, if these swift flies behave anything like regular butterflies... I'm off. It will take some time to search every corner of Sumeru City. Huh? You're going just like that? A champion walks the road to victory. <laughs> Hey, um. <laughs> My dear Kasharawar Jr., I have a plan. How about some cooperation between you and me? Cooperation? Looks like everyone's got their own plans for this, Tuffy. We're supposed to go on stage next, right? Uh, let's wait and see everyone's reactions first. Huh? Wait a minute. Look. He seems to be observing the other contestants just like we are! <laughs> we were right not to let our guard down! Nothing has happened yet! <laughs> He's just sizing up the competition! We made previously. Huh? You mean... It's time for them to shine. It looks like Farazan and Kaveh have some secret plan! Oh, hello there. Madam Faruzan and I are discussing how... Shh! Hush now! The walls have ears around here. We should keep it a secret for now. But you'll find out what we have in store soon enough. Come now, let's go. Before the others act. All right, there's no time to lose. We're off to make our preparations. See you later. Right. Hmm. This is basically what I'll need. Do you think you'll have any difficulties? I have most of the reagents with me, and I can buy the rest. Kawe, you're here too! Um, Tainari, you have a master plan ready? My hypothesis is that the Swift Fly's morphological variations won't significantly affect their fundamental nature. So I'm planning on using this to lure them out. Of course, I could be wrong. Every mutation opens the door to new possibilities, especially when they are artificially introduced. Uh, details will have to wait until after the post-experimental analysis. 
for now, Kale and I are going to buy some reagents for our experiment. All right, well, uh, see you later. Special markings? How do they differ from ordinary butterflies? Oh, I can't even figure out these basic questions and most of what I've learned in the past is completely useless here. <laughs> oh no. Aren't people who research the star supposed to have some extraordinary abilities? Why not use astrology to solve it? Oh, you're another contestant. That hat guy, was it? Is it that you can't use astrology during the day? <laughs> Guess that skill's less useful than I thought. <laughs> no, it's not like that. If it's daytime, it's trying to rile her up. Is an astrolabe. <laughs> so, why don't you do that then? Uh, Mona Magistus, the astrologist, said that those who constantly what? use astrology to obtain things that shouldn't be theirs will eventually lose the blessing from the stars. Uh -huh. no it's just something I read in an academic publication. Uh, I really love to read Mona's essays. You're overthinking <laughs> it. Power is just a tool. It just seems to me that you don't have the resolve to win this. Well, suit yourself. <sighs> Wallow in your immature ideals if you like. Hey! <laughs> Seriously? Just walking off after saying a bunch of mean stuff like that? Uh, um, did I say something wrong just now? Uh, thank you so much. I've made up my mind not to use astrology for this. I think I'll just try my luck in the city. Uh, to be honest, I've always been pretty good at observation, and if I'm fortunate, I might be able to find that special butterfly species. Lord Sino seems to have found a swift fly. Come on, let's go check it out. Oh, already? Really? Where? The butterfly flew up high, and he's chasing it now. <laughs> oh, no time to lose. Let's go see. Ah, oh, as expected of Sino. Ah, oh, actually, shouldn't you two go have a look as well? The moment when he catches the butterfly will likely be one worth recording after all. Ooh, I'll head into the city shortly to start my own search. I'll see you later. Alright, in that case, let's go see Sino first, and then we can check on what everyone else is up to. Alright. Here we go. Oh wow, they're all marked. Because of the locator. Can I even. Where's he at? Yep, there. Go back here. This is a tree. We found you, Sino. Oh, wait, is that a swift fly? Stay put. Don't move. <laughs> he caught it. Uh huh? Sino, what's wrong? This isn't what I'm looking for. It's a. Uh, uh, finally, 
I made it. I heard that you caught a swift fly, Sino. Mind letting me see what it looks like? Uh, hold on. Isn't this the mechanical bait that I released earlier? Why would you catch that instead of a swift fly? <laughs> Wait a minute. If we consider this from a different angle, isn't it a good thing that the bait you made was convincing enough to fool even Sino? That's right. During a previous interior design project, I felt that the artificial flowers on a wall were a little bland, so I decided on placing a few moving mechanical butterflies to add some pizzazz. In order to make them both small and nimble, I consulted with Madame Faruzan. Not long ago, the two of us took all those mechanical butterflies and released them into the city. Why would you do that? <laughs> Need you even ask? Young people these days really How are you going to find the real ones? More. Have you never played that game where you place strips of paper on a bamboo pole and wave it across a field of flowers to attract a whole kaleidoscope of butterflies? No, I haven't. <laughs> Wait, so you're trying to... That's right. The butterflies within the city will mistake our mechanical bait for one of their own and follow them around. As long as we keep releasing and retrieving our bait, we can capture all the butterflies within the city. What comes afterward is just a matter of separating the swift flies from the others. Huh. Guess that's what I, I feel like it. you just made it harder. Do not underestimate the wisdom of your elders. <laughs> I had already thought of this method the moment the round's rules what? were announced. Of course, we also I'm gonna release much to this more butterflies that look exactly like the swift -like flies. Butterflies. It seems that Kasharwar has not quite declined as far as I had thought in recent years. Their teaching skills, at least, seem to be intact. Well, I just stuck to what I do best. The idea was yours. Ah, no need to be so polite. Once we capture all these butterflies, we shall split the points for this round. Ah, look! One of them is returning now. Huh? Wait a moment. Are my eyes deceiving me? Why don't I see any butterflies behind it? That's because there are none. Seems like your plan has hit a snag. Looks like the match continues. I'll be looking elsewhere. Huh. Strange. Has something else diverted their attention? Come, let's search in the direction the bait returned from. We'll go have a look too. Oh, she <laughs> they're running. Oh, what? <laughs> Why'd you stop? Bro, this is so weird. <laughs> Just seeing him run like this. <gasps> what? Okay. <laughs> Fascinating, isn't it? The butterflies have all congregated here due to a special incense that I used. I infused it with three different types of honey, and the butterflies, following the fragrance, have gathered around me. Oh, butterflies must have really sharp noses then. <sighs> Wait, do they even have noses? <sighs> I've never seen one. They do not, in fact, and their vision <laughs> isn't stellar either. However, they can use their antennae to distinguish between scents, and their olfactory senses are generally quite advanced, allowing them to detect floral fragrances from great distances. Oh, so that's how it is. Huh. I had a pet butterfly once. I picked wildflowers and placed them in its box, but it wouldn't eat any. That's normal. Raising butterflies isn't difficult, but there are many things you should take note of. Appropriate temperature, sufficient air, and a spacious environment are examples of such seminar. considerations. You must also <laughs> ensure that the food you've chosen suits their palate. 
Most Unnatural importantly, food. you must curb your curiosity and avoid disturbing them hey, while Blueberry. they rest. Otherwise, they may mine. become stressed. Uh, sorry. I liked to poke at its wings at the time. Uh, humans tend to rear many creatures due to their aesthetic value, but not all are suited to such a process. Caring for living beings is hard work. Impulse alone is insufficient. Some prerequisite knowledge is always required. You sure do know a lot. Uh, I have a question too. I bought a scarab not long ago and it hasn't seemed very active. Can you help me figure out why? <laughs> I'd like to keep a dust bird as a pet. What are some key points I should consider? Um, is it possible to keep a Rishbul and Tiger as a pet? Oh my god. <laughs> all right, it seems like you all have a great deal of questions. <laughs> but I am in the middle of the Interdarshan Championship at the moment, so I'm afraid I can't answer them all now. Let me propose an alternative. Next month, there will be a biology lecture at Gendarvaville, and I will be sharing some interesting insights on living organisms there. If you're interested, you can attend that lecture, and if oh, you yeah, should have any questions, just prepare them ahead of time. Event. I'll answer cool. questions after I finish speaking. Uh, all right, I'll be there. Of course, please try to ask more rational questions. <laughs> For example, so... whether you can raise a Rishbalin tiger as a pet or not is mainly dependent on whether you can overcome one in a fight. Looks like Tainari's science lecture will draw quite a crowd. Huh? Oh. <clears throat> Was I listening in for that long? It seems Kale's master does live up to his title as a teacher. Madam Farozan, I've had a look around. Nearly all the butterflies in this area have been attracted by the incense. However, we can cast our bait further away to avoid this area. All right, then let's get moving. We shan't let all the butterflies get away from us if we can help it. Seems like the competition's really heating up. Let's go see how the other contestants are doing. I'm gonna go find everyone. It's like we can talk to Layla. Searching for quite a while now, but I haven't seen any sign of the swift flies yet. Instead, I ended up catching a few mechanical devices that looked very <gasps> similar to butterflies. Uh, I wonder where they came from. Uh, looks like Barozan and Kabe's devices are everywhere now. I'll keep up the search. That said, I've noticed that a number of butterflies in the city has already decreased a lot compared to when the event started. Probably because the other contestants are coming up with their own ways to catch butterflies. Uh, Alright, I'll do my best too. Uh, huh? What's this? Oh, what a coincidence. I guess I just need to catch it now, right? Oh, um, please wait. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pew. Goes. It's so fast. Paimon thought all Haytham said they were only a little faster. No, come back. Come on, Traveler. Let's go, too. Oh, my God, dude. The is going off. Because she's running. <laughs> Just watching this. The locator's going <laughs> off again. Oh my god. So did someone this? else finish too? That would mean that the one Layla's chasing is the last swift fly. Oh, oh my god.
we can do. Oh, uh, it's... Oh. oh, it just occurred to me that we should also get you a makeup box. No, it's fine. I, I don't think I'll end up using it. Maybe you won't, but it doesn't hurt to have one, right? Come on, just trust me on this one. Huh? Uh, who are you, and what do you want? Uh, please, don't move. Don't move? Who sent you? Dear. Don't worry, I can handle this. Why is it just now, chilling me? tell me, what do you <laughs> want? Oh. <laughs> I believe she's looking for this. Here, take it. A, a butterfly? Was it on my head? Oh, you're... It's been a while, Layla. I don't know. That was some weird interaction. A friend of yours? Oh, so she must be the one you were telling me about. Huh? You two know each other? Oh yeah, it has been some time. The first time I ever woke up after sleepwalking, I somehow found <laughs> myself in our village. <laughs> Candace was the one who took care of me then. How does that even happen? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't look well, so I gave her something to eat. She said a lot of complicated things about astrology, the night sky, the stars. Not sure I understood it all, but it sounded pretty enchanting. Right. Do you still want this butterfly? It seems like you were chasing it all the way here. It's of little use to me, but if you don't want it, I can release it. <laughs> Just let her have it. It's no big deal. The swift fly was flying so fast, but you were able to catch it like it was nothing, Candace. Oh, it didn't seem that quick, really. I was actually worried that I would injure it. But I'm glad that didn't happen. Anyway, sorry about the butterfly Candace thing. Is so but the way soothing. you suddenly came running over like that, I thought you were hired Whenever to take talks, us out like, or something. I feel relaxed. Huh. On second thought, I I guess I've never seen an assassin that looks tired with dark bags around their eyes. Oh, you must be taking part in the championship. T take it from me. Don't let it stop you from getting some rest. Uh, I'll do what I can. Uh, thank you. Hmm, we'll be on our way then. See you later. Alrighty, let's bring the swift fly back together with Layla. <sighs> she got one. Super lucky. I'm gonna go all the way over there. <laughs> oh. It seems we have a third contestant who has returned with a swift fly. With that, the first round has come to an end. I anticipate that all of you will keep up the effort for the second round. Dismissed. Ah, uh, um... Your closing statement sounded so... <laughs> how do I put it? Decisive? Well, you could certainly stand to try being more decisive, Nilu. It would help you live more freely. Oh my god. Hang on a second. Who were the first two contestants with swift flies? Tainari was first. And as for the no, second... Obviously. It's being discussed right now. Hey, I'll hate them. I think I've come up with a good idea. Second place gets two points, right? Can't Madame Faruzan and I split the points between us? Quite the imagination you have there. I've read the championship handbook from cover to cover, and I never saw any rule which permits that. Then we can just add a rule. Do you really think I'd do that? <laughs> oh, come on, you're not going to stand in the way of my victory, are you? Well... You're free to send the organizing committee an application outlining your naive proposal. They'll get back to you within three working days. Three working days? It'll be too late by then! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Unfortunately <laughs> for you, even dreaming is gonna cost you. Ah! Paimon gets it now. Kaveh and 
Amazon found the second swift fly together, but the rules say that only one person can get the points. <sighs> oh well, the rules are the rules. Since you call me madam and politely ask for my help, I shall give you these points. So I'll put the points under Kaveh's name then? No. If I take these points, won't that only detract from your contributions, Madam Faruzan? You might be all right with that, but I cannot do it. Not in good conscience. I don't have any problem with it. There are two more rounds after all. Losing one isn't a major setback. But if you insist, I have another method. We can draw lots to see who will receive the points. L lots huh? What? What? Is there something wrong with that idea? Uh, no. Well, let's do it. All right. I'll get the paper needed for the lots. Uh, give me a moment. Oh, <laughs> oh seriously? <laughs> what the hell? I'm sorry, but it appears that luck was on my side this time. No, you do deserve it. I'm just lamenting my bad luck. Lamenting! Perhaps... <laughs> oh, perhaps that's why my life is rife with troubles. Hey, so dramatic. <laughs> Indeed. It's rare to see anyone with such terrible luck be so willing to decide victory via lots. And what would you know about that? I just... Uh, we can save bickering for later. Record the points under Farazan, and that'll finally bring the first round to a close. The second round will be held in the desert. We'll be moving our commentator stand over to Aru Village. Let's meet up in Aru Village once everything is ready. I'll announce the details of the second round then. Till then, you have some free time. I'm off the clock at this point, so it's farewell for now. Wait, I'll hate them! You... <sighs> Don't be upset, Kave. Sign can carry away your good luck, you know. Oh, so that's how it works. In that case, I'll take in some deep breaths. Maybe that'll help me make up for all the luck I've lost. <sighs> it's really no big deal. Two points aren't enough to decide victory or defeat just yet. I'll win the next round. You'll see. Looks like you've managed to pick yourself back up, young man. Good. I must warn you, though, that I'm quite familiar with the desert. You'll have to try your best if you don't want to lose. I'm no stranger to the desert either. I'll be fine. All right, then. That's enough chit-chat for now. I'm going to check the area out. Hmm. So the current standings are Tainari in first place, Farozan in second, and Layla in third. Nope. Oh. Guess we should also take a nice break before the next round starts. But, where should we go first? Ooh, excuse me. Why, you two look a little lost. If oh. you're not sure where to start enjoying the Academia Extravaganza, then may I suggest that you have a chat with our boss? Your boss? Who's that? Do we know them? <laughs> well, only the most famous merchant in all of Sumeru, oh. Lord Sangama Bay. Oh, you mean Dory! Precisely. Our boss oh, sent me to inform you two that she'll be waiting for you at Sumeru City's North Everyone's Gate. Everyone's favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have I never done that puzzle? <gasps> oh my god. I don't think I've ever done that puzzle. <laughs> I need a bow character. <laughs> sure. Time to begin work? I'll switch back out. on the agenda oh, yeah, dude. perhaps whoever left these behind was if i wasn't doing this event i would not ever done that puzzle <laughs>
Yeah, I'm, I am AR60. Mm. I play this game way too much. There's still so many places for us. <laughs> We're here. Oh, well, if it isn't the traveler in Paimon. Hey, Dory, are you here to attend the Academia Extravaganza too? Of course. People are practically flocking to Samara City. You couldn't ask for a better opportunity to do business. This is one of the entrances into the city, and it's very close to the Wisdom Gala booths. There'll be an endless stream of customers. <laughs> I can already hear oh the Cora going clink, clink, clink as they fill my coin pouch. Well, is there anything you'd like to purchase? We've got everything you need and deals that can't be beat. <laughs> What's that face? <laughs> well, do you have anything to eat? Wait, we're celebrating the extravaganza, and you're only thinking of eating... <clears throat> I mean, go. of course, we've got lots of things to eat. That said, I recommend that you also consider some of the great bargains we have going on. The Wisdom Gala is about to begin, and once it starts, each of the Darshans will prepare a small challenge oh, yeah. for everyone. There's two different parts for the event. And just between us... Have some super booster supplements for sale. Eat just one to boost both your strength and dexterity for a short time. She's selling us drugs for <laughs> <any challenge. laughs> What is this? Uh, no thanks, we'll pass. These little challenges are gonna be a cinch for the two of us. Just you watch. Anyway, Paima just wants something to eat, please. If you don't have any food, then we'll just go somewhere else. All right, all right. Mora is Mora, after all. Oh, what would you like to eat? Hmm, well, Paimon's pretty hungry right now. Uh, do you have any catching? Let me see. There's no way. What? Oh. This is a huge Definitely. job, isn't it? If this works out, we'll be set. Here you go. Two servings of touching. See? I told you there's nothing Lord Shangama Bay can't procure. Yay! Uh, huh? What are you looking at, Traveler? Oh? Who? Someone we know? Was it someone suspicious? Have we attracted some unwanted attention? Huh? What's happening, Dory? Is there something else going on? I don't know who you saw just now, but I do have some hard-to-come-by information about the extravaganza. If you want to know more, we can talk business later. Whoa. The heck? Oh, look at this! Look at all the things I need to do. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Okay, we'll start with this one. <laughs> Wait, there's a list. Oh, I'm gonna start the first one on the list. What they say is true. You have to see the world Wait, for so yourself to appreciate how beautiful oh my. it is. What is happening? Okay, let's do all like the event mini games first, and then we can continue the storyline. Well, uh, it is like five already, so I might have to get off. But yeah. Um, do I want to go here? I gotta do all the events, bro. No. I need to collect these two. And, uh, because I need to level my new move. It's 90. There's so many characters I need to level. It's 90. Like, I need Kakomi to be level 92. Oh, there's a 
boot. The Wisdom Gamma. Okay. Mechanics and architecture. So we're gonna be teapot gamers. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a go. Oh wow, there's three parts. <laughs> All right. Oh, what carries it? <laughs> I think it's whoever you're playing as. Wait, so we just need to build. Build bridges to reach these checkpoints? Is that what I'm seeing? But we have a limit. Um, can we move these? No. It's not look like it. All right. Um, what's this? No. Like a slope. Wait, wh what's with the house in the middle? Can I like? Oh, it's an alarm. What the heck? Okay. I only rotate like this. Can't like angle it. Let's do that. We're just gonna play some. Holy, this thing is huge. What the heck? Oh, we can parkour off the house. Hmm. I don't know if any of this is gonna work. Bigger these. That's not gonna work. You have like these small islands. Sure. <laughs> I don't know how far away these things are. I have to like test it. This is a big one. Let's play here. And then. I think this is a jumping pad. So we just fly over there.
Oh, what? I thought we were gonna... I exit out. Please don't tell me I have to rebuild it all. Okay, sweet. Wait, so how do you go to Chelsea? Okay. Ooh, I don't know if I can make... Well, I could just probably jump back to the house. Hmm. Ah. Let's see. Oh, yeah, no, that's far. What if we... Oh, reach. Yeah. <sighs> oh, well... Over here first, then. Hmm. So now I can reach this. Okay. Let's do the next one. Alright. Now they're all like elevated and there's four four points. Okay. So we can reach this one with the house, and this one's, I'm guessing we can reach from there. So we need to be able to go around. So. Get close enough. And then. And then, um, oh, we have those are expensive. Let's do like a small bridge. Wait, we're, we're starting here. I should make a bridge. Should work, right? <laughs> Try. Oh. Oh, give me on my box. Okay. So we can reach this one. They're a little higher than I thought. Reach that one. Up. I was thinking of putting a jumping pad on this one. Well, let's see. Come on! Yes! He did it. Okay. Oh, easy.
There's only three trials. Okay, oh. wait. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna be doing some stuff. Oh, we got big house now. Let's see. Can use that to reach over here. I think if we make a little bridge here, I could reach that from here too as well. Could go here to get up there. The trick is trying to get these ones. Uh, can I not place it there? I can't place it here. What do you mean? Well, like this. No, it's not work. Okay. Never mind. I think boulders are the best thing, though. Right, right there. Then get another boulder. Here, um, I'm put closer a little, and then I'm just making a little path. I'm gonna be so zoomed in. And then we can just jump down from there. You go. Oh, we need to get over there. Okay. Small. Boulder shoot. A little elevated so we can climb. Sure. Okay. Um, I need. I don't think I can reach that. Let's try. <coughs> well, shoot. thing. I don't know the limit. There. Little bridge. Right there. Sure. Oh! <laughs> uh, no. Save. Save. Now we can do it. There we go. Easy. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's a quest. 
I think all of it's unlocked now. Should I this one? Sixteen hundred. Bro, if you reach sixteen hundred, <laughs> you just don't know how to jump. <laughs> it's wild to me. Okay. I'm guessing I completed everything on this side. Sweet. Oh yeah. My latest design. Um. Next is gathering of stuff. There, but there's still room for improvement. Hmm. I always get lost in soon. I was gonna take fall damage. <laughs> So, I'm trying to make constellations. Mm -hmm. Okay. so weird. Oh. So they're all in this one, and then these are in that one. Do you know if it's... Oh. <laughs> I like the little ding noise to and it tells you if you're in the right spot. Cause it's definitely hard to see it like this. Cool. Oh, it's not gonna do it. I just have to get close to where it is. Oh, okay. So that's gonna be somewhere up there. Gonna be down here somewhere. Yeah. Nice. I do like the aesthetic, it's really pretty. Oh, now we adjust the height. <laughs> now, this is where it gets a little tricky. Okay. <laughs> it just rises. Okay. I'm guessing that's the one that needs to be elevated. This looks like the triangle thing. How many? Um, what are these? They're that looks like okay. <laughs> um, does anything need to be elevated? Hmm. If that's right, then... Okay, let's try that. Here. This is so weird. I don't think so. Do they? Is that 
Uh, yeah, I thought this needed to be it. I just need it closer. No. <laughs> Can I go? What if I... Well, that one's right, though. See the other room? No. No. I think I did. Oh, it wants. Uh, no, we're not taking the hint. I just went there. Yeah, I see that. I'm so confused. How is this not the right area? Just wait, let me get it. I know where it was supposed to be. Okay. The uh, little star. Where would this be? Like down? Be like right here. Is it one in here? Up. Up. I like that. <laughs> okay. So if that's the center, and we got these guys. Oh shoot. Is that the sun? Okay. <laughs> I, I meant to do that. It's fine. <laughs> oh, some of them are kind of <laughs> just let you have it. Okay. How many? <laughs> There's so many, bro. Okay. So we got these guys. Lots of mini frames. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so. It has the Oh no. Yeah, so please. I might have to raise this one. There we go. Holy, there's so many. No, I don't want to do the abandoned. We got them all. Galapagos. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> so that's done. Let's 
Texas. Oh yeah, Farzan. Oh yeah, a bunch of uh, teapot stuff. Oh, what is that? No, these are all, like the flags for example, like uh, houses. Get the stage. Okay, and a crown. That's really cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. What is the this? ability to appreciate? Uh, my medic replication. Okay, beauty is an important for. Beauty is important. Okay. Um, you. Pass. Pause. Pass. I don't know. Oh, it's the animal thing. Okay. We're gonna do the weasel first. Wait, it's gonna tell us how to do it, right? Oh, we're collecting coins. We use E to jump higher. Okay. No, I lie. That that event, uh, I don't know about it. <laughs> it's, it's not that great. So you have to get the three star rating. Okay. Next one. Okay, now we do the shroom more. Okay. Oh, this time he dashes. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, was that bad? That was good. Okay. You have to do it right when you're at it. Not like prematurely. Okay, game. Come on. It's okay, 
I just need 30 stars. Might have to do this again, because <laughs> I'm not doing great. Oh, you, you see the picture. Okay. Then we're gonna be the fish. Hmm. Um, you just leap from water at the right moment. Okay. I don't know why I liked that one the best. I n I didn't miss one. What the heck? Some I felt like kind of off. Okay. <laughs> I like this picture though. I think the fish one was definitely the best one. There's something satisfying about like timing it. Okay. Oh, we're doing that one. And we got one more. More primos. When does this event end? I should check. Eleven days. Oh, we got a lot of time. Okay. Um. What's next? What we got. So we got three more. Um, concocted reaction. Okay. No, we're here already. It's you. Looks so sad. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Very challenging, okay. So is it like a fighting one? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Teleport, okay. Nice. Alright, so there's three parts. And looks like we just fight a wave of monsters. Oh. So we have to resist at most two enemy attacks. Point. I don't like that one. Hmm. What does that mean? So if I click on these ones, that's the one? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Advance. So this will help us? Cyclone. Two points in. Okay. Um, let's do a proper team. Let's see. Who this? Why not? Let's do that. <laughs> oh, my back, man. Oh. oh, excuse me. Okay. Hey. The Temple of Wisdom! Right. Our bond is strong! Things are about to get dicey. Gotcha. Uh -huh. Process of elimination. Shouldn't be too hard. So we did that one. Oh, well. <laughs> that's it. Oh, we just do the hardest one every time. Okay. Oh, it's still at the same. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
definitely want like someone to group them up, so probably gonna run Kazu. No. Let's do the HP increase. I'm plunging. <laughs> I don't think I have a shower in here though. But I can like switch, I guess. I wanted Kazuo though. I want to see the Kazuo. Do this. Mm. Um, we're into like cryo things though. Hmm. Do this. What's this? Kamisato of Suyu Cascade Everyone who appears Clouds high The birds come And do the last one. Let's see. Um why? What does that mean? Oh, let's do these. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I can do that team. That'd be fun. Triggers. Okay, we're gonna do you. All right, amuse you. me. I've been waiting for you for ages. All is accounted for. Let's move out. Okay, I hope. Mm, I don't remember if she has her weapon. <laughs> I'm gonna assume she does. So, we're just going to go. Right. Following order. A new Sharing the knowledge. Right here. Right now. Hold the line. Try to keep up. Oh, oh. You are not done. I see everything. I summon thee. <laughs> Emerge. Oh. Right here. I'm getting sick. 
I think the ones I selected to not selected to be there were not there, so I was getting hit by the smoldering thing, and then this. I don't know, it's so weird. I don't think I did it right, did I? I don't know. It, it's easy, you know. It is all good. You know why? We got primos. Nice. Yeah, I hate fire zone. You know I have received six, so I just get this. Alright, I think we have one more game we get to play. this? Oh, there's two more. What's this? Surge cups. Really? I think the idea Maybe has I'm been just... staying the same forever. We did this. Did all this. Did this. We haven't done that. Okay, no. We do have two more. Just miscounted. Sweet. I thought we'd have like a follow up or something. So yeah, we're still gonna take the video. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh my god, uh, my team's beat the bug. Hold the line! I should switch to the French team, so just in case, you know. So I'm guessing we're just gonna have to find things. No, don't be rude, traveler. I guess I could give you some of my time. <laughs> like, what the hell? We need the compass. And it tells you how. We have three things can disrupt it. So, okay. so we're gonna need the thing in the bob. I don't know, I'm 
using it. Uh, these things are all... So, okay. Cool. Alright. That's not the wrong. I want this. So, go back. Do they want me to just go there? I can't teleport. I think it's like right here. Alright. I can check the one. me down <laughs> so, let's throw on <laughs> okay. So now we're f too far. somewhere over here. Yep. Oh, oh, do we have to beat them all? Yeah. And no. Jeez. We did not need to beat them up. <laughs> yep. Oh, now we're far away. Yep. <laughs> so many three. Oh. Leave me alone. Let's leave three alone. I'll throw my string. Yeah. I know I did that wrong. One percent. <laughs> See me in this little circle. Can you? You know. Okay. Eighty percent. Ninety-two. Oh, do we have to destroy these? Oh my god, switch my party out, get party out. Okay. Um, oh, Amber. Leave it to me! We'll need a strategy. Um, so we have to go here. It's in the desert. 
is here. Fortunate weather. Care for a walk? Wait, can you? Can you can collect. I see everything. I forgot she did that. All right. Fifty-four. <laughs> Of course. Do we need to get rid of it? Apparently. Oh, I shouldn't switch to get my own. I guess I could do like an explanation time. <clears throat> I should just switch it. And nowhere. Oh. Bet you can't keep up with me. We never did that. Sixty. To fight them. Oh, right there. Sweet. Okay, the dune is in the desert again. Alright. 
So we're still close. What's that? No. Cascade. One percent. <laughs> huh. So it's more yeah. closer over here. See the percentage of them. Oh. So. Leave me alone. Oh, I'm gonna fight. There we go. I'm gonna just stare at it awkwardly for three seconds and we pick it up. And the conclusion. Opportunities to bask in the sunlight like this are few and far between. <laughs> These are not the ears in the sea. An Omni Director? Okay. Nice. So that's all done. Truth's steps. Okay. I'm sure I've forgotten something. <sighs> Not to worry. Where is you? I don't know where it's at. It's so cluttered. Okay, I'm just gonna teleport here. <laughs> Why are you climbing? <laughs> Oh, this is the storytelling one. <laughs> God 
same. They're making us read. For surveying the surrounding environment, I'm saying this girl wants to getting caught in a downpour when the rain making the ground so many that they're attempting to Surveying the thing. She hid in a tree. Where is she at? It's Oxy in a tree. Feed him was the one. My god. <laughs> okay, let's do the first one. I don't like, like, <laughs> uh, it seems like bait. <laughs> Do I have to click on each one? These are locked off. What if I click on this? <laughs> What's the point in this? So... <laughs> oh, so if forest rangers are wearing waterproof clothing, then he's not a horse. So we're figuring out who Beatum is.
<laughs> Could you skip all that and just go to you? That'd be funny. I want to see that for the next one. Reasonable answer. What? Okay. <laughs> I've got other things to do at the moment. <laughs> yeah. So, sure. Oh, and just get the answer at the end. He got scolded. No. Well, would it be something lame like this? Why would they bring a bill though? Hmm. <laughs> no shot, dude. Okay. <laughs> no way I got all that right. Oh, us? Okay, so it was keys, right? <laughs> Bro, I'm a genius. <laughs> what would you like to ask? So it's given to a staff member. Good thing.
Hmm. Maybe the mantra? Oh my god, please! Okay, so I'm just gonna say the mantra. This time. One question is just wrong. What? Maybe it's this one? I'm guessing it. I don't know. So far, see so hot. No sh way. I thought no. Okay, okay, no, no, no. I thought the wrong thing. Cause if he still had the light, what? Um, I'm gonna say this. this time. I feel like I've done that because it's this. He couldn't uh, get it, but he still had it. It wasn't here. It wasn't. Was it destroyed? Was I not paying attention? It's not in the office. I feel like I'm just saying the same answers over and over. Why do you take the keys?
I'm so confused. I'm gonna say this one. I'm sorry. Some other person's watching, I don't yeah, know. I'm sure they are gonna love it. <laughs> I don't know if they can hear that. Hear they probably can. <laughs> Work sucks. Yeah. People suck. Clients suck. Clients who think they're are the freaking center of the universe suck. That's the first one I got. Got it.
this one. It's making me read. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it's like a riddle story thing. No, wait. Oh, God. I should take ev everything was collected. Just one person didn't get it. Okay. Who went to the room? Guess then they took the box. That's what happened. Okay. Oh, but is this all? I'm gonna do that one first. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that one. <laughs> no, did not go to anyone else. No one used them in advance, and no one could duplicate or exchange them. Everyone took a leave. No one chose a different word, and no one was the one was there not, and no one was not allowed. Okay. No, there's one someone Yes. No. So why is it on that one? <laughs> I don't understand. Every single mini game event thing. Hey, all this. Oh, they just worded things weird. That's what happened. So it's like some of them sound the same. Okay. stream for over three hours. Oh yeah, I think we'll just stop it right here. I can continue this later. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna log out for now. Uh, thanks to those who stopped by and watched and 
who, whoever will stop by in the future. I really appreciate it. Um, hope you all have a wonderful day and see you all soon. I don't, I don't know when I'm going to stream again. Probably this week. Or, I don't know. Whatever I feel like it. But yeah. So, see ya. Choo 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 choo.